How is it going, fellow scavengers? Today we're going to do a quick and easy setup guide on how to get started creating your first scavenger bot. Uh, if you're new to BitMEX, we'll go over that first. You're going to need a BitMEX account. The first, all the links that we uh, that you need for this, we're going to put right below in the description. So uh, the first thing that you need is a BitMEX account. So if you already have it, that's great. Um, make sure it's funded before you start up and then we're going to get back to this in a second and if not we put a link to a guide by CryptoNome down below that shows you how to set this up and uh, we're going to get back to that in a second but the the most important thing is make sure you have a BitMEX account that is funded uh, before you get started and um, go to the contract you're going to trade usually Bitcoin is the original one that we have and make sure it's at cross and you have zero open positions and then we're going to come back to this uh, in a few minutes here. The next thing, go right to the scavenger bot uh, homepage. And uh, if you haven't signed up for an account yet, you're going to hit try it now. And it's going to take you to this page right here. Now, uh, all you need to do here is qu quickly create an account, read through the terms of service. If you agree to them, hit the box uh, and verify you're not a robot. It'll create an account. And uh, then you're just going to go right over to the login, which is if it brings you back to the homepage, you can just sign in right there. And uh, you're going to sign in using your username and password, and it's going to log you in. Now, the next thing you're going to see is the dashboard. So you can see here, CryptoNome, uh, ready to scrap version 105. Great job by the developer. Big country for getting this going. Um, some of this stuff is not available yet. Uh, it will be in the future. But basically, this is what we have uh, for our open beta launch. And uh, you're going to see right here an add button. So what you're going to do is to create your first bot, you just, all you got to do is hit that. And um, you're going to see a nice little bot there. You're going to select your exchange. If you want to start on the testnet first, you can. Just know you need a testnet account for that. Or if you want to use your live account, hit BitMEX. You're going to pick your direction. You can run long or short, or you can run both at the same time. I think a majority of the beta testers have been running both, and that helps uh, minimize your risk by trading in both directions. And then what you're going to do is, all right, this is a key step. So if you want to run both directions, you need two different accounts. BitMEX doesn't care if you open up more than one account, but you need a, a separate account for each direction. So if you're running long, uh, you can only run long on one account. If you're running long and short, you need two accounts. One account one account for your long position, one account for your short position. So just keep that in mind. That's how that works. So we're going to, uh, for example, set up a long bot here. What you're going to do is you're going to come back to uh, BitMEX here. You're going to go into account and then you're going to go over here to API keys. And what you're going to do is you can just name it long if you want. Uh, and then you don't need this CDR. You're always going to want to use order for your key permissions. You don't need to never check withdraw. We don't want that. So just order. This allows you to place and cancel orders and create the key. Okay, so it's going to give you a secret and ID. Always hit the secret first, right click, copy, and then come on back over to, sorry for the tab switching. This is the best way I can get this done. Uh, place your secret in there and uh, then come right back over to here, right click, copy, and then head on back and put in your ID. Um, now you have your ID and your secret and then you can create your bot and uh, you're gonna see it right here. So this is now gonna show you your bot, it's gonna show you, read your balance and it's gonna read your p &L. and uh, yeah, you're gonna click verify, this is gonna test your AP, this is gonna test your API uh, for you to make sure it's working. And uh, yeah, you can see right here it's saying minimum balance required is 0 0.05, uh, which is true because we really don't want to, uh, you really don't wanna start this up without less than that to be safe. And just by the way our algorithm works, that's what we require uh, for you to use to be you know, safe. We, we recommend at least 0.12 BTC per direction. Uh, because that's what our algorithm is optimized for. You can use less, but you just have to understand that the risk is on you at that point because you are running at an increased rate of risk. But uh, basically after that, you will be able to uh, start your bot up. And yeah, that's pretty much the gist of it. So uh, if you guys have any questions, there's two ways you can uh, get a hold of us. 
uh, let's go back over here. So you can either come here and hit support and this will bring you to the Discord channel or you can click the live support here and you can talk to one of us live and we'll get back to you as soon as possible. Uh, this usually pings one of us uh, right away as soon as you hit it. So hope this helps and uh, happy scrapping guys.